If your Bamboo P or X series printer is squeaking, then don't worry. After watching this video, the squeaks will hopefully be gone. Here's what you're gonna need. All the links will be in the description. A microfiber cloth, some Q-tips, some Super Lube 52004, a needle nose applicator, some paper towel, isopropyl alcohol, and an Allen key. Before you start lubricating everything in sight, let's figure out exactly where the squeak is coming from. Start by running an auto home from the printer's menu and listen closely as the tool head and bed move. Once it's homed, use the touchscreen to move the bed up and down while listening for squeaks. Then power off the printer and manually move the tool head left to right and front to back by hand. This way we can isolate which axis we need to focus on. If the bed squeaks as you move it up and down, the issue likely resides in the Z-axis idler pulley underneath. If it squeaks when the tool head moves, then the culprit is probably one of the idler pulleys at the back. So let's assume that your squeak is coming from the movement on the tool head along the X and Y axis. Unplug your printer and turn it to face you. At the back of the gantry, you'll see two idler pulleys. Manually move the tool head and observe the belts as they run over the pulleys. They should stay mostly centered. If the belt is rubbing against the top or bottom edge, that rubbing can cause squeaking like this. Each idler has two adjustment tabs. Pushing the top tab inward moves the belt down. Pushing the bottom tab inward moves the belt up. So here's the method. Loosen both screws on both idlers. Just a quarter turn so the pulley can shift. Now move the print head and check the belt alignment. Push the appropriate tab in while the head is moving and when the belt looks centered, hold the tab steady and gently retighten the screw. Now this process might take a few rounds. After you align one side and tighten up the screws, the other side might shift slightly, so double check both sides. The goal is to get the belt roughly centered like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just can't touch the edges of the idler pulley. So if your belts are aligned and it's still squeaking, now it's time to clean and lubricate. Start by checking if the idler bearing looks dirty. Soak a Q-tip in some IPA and gently press it against the pulley while manually moving the head. Be careful not to leave cotton threads behind and try to avoid getting any debris on the belt. Now fill your needle nose applicator with super lube. The more you fill it, the easier it is to apply precisely. Apply a small drop of lubricant where the idler bearing meets the plastic housing, both top and bottom of each pulley. It's very important to try and avoid this getting on the belt. Now manually move the tool head a few times to help distribute the lubricant, and if your squeak was coming from your X or Y axis, then your squeaks are most likely now gone. Now there are multiple idler pulleys all around the machine, but don't go ahead and just lubricate all of them, as it increases the risk of dust buildup and further issues down the line. I found that most of the issues reside from either the two at the back or the one underneath. But if your squeaking still persists, then feel free to investigate those other idlers. Otherwise, it might be due to a buildup on the rods or the belts. Clean the carbon fiber X-axis rod and the belts with some IPA and a microfiber cloth. Do not apply lubricant to these parts as it can cause print quality issues and damage your printer. Next, clean the Y and Z axis linear rails using some IPA and a microfiber cloth. After they're dry, apply a few drops of lubricant to the Y and Z rails. This helps prevent rust and keeps the bearings running smoothly. For the Z rails, just place a few drops at the top and when we turn the printer back on, we'll run the bed up and down to make sure that it is evenly distributed. So if your squeak is coming from the Z axis, carefully lay your printer on its side and locate the idler pulley underneath the printer. Clean it the same way you did the other idler pulleys with a Q-tip soaked in some isopropyl alcohol to remove any dust or grime. Then apply a small drop of lubricant to the bearing area in the same way as before. And this should hopefully <laughs> fix your Z-axis squeaks. Now power your printer back on, run the print bed up and down once more to help spread the lubricant. If you see any excess, wipe it off with a paper towel, otherwise things are gonna stick to it and cause issues. Then clean the bed surface from any debris that's fallen onto it during this process. Perform a full calibration, and that's it. Your Bamboo Lab printer should now be running smooth and squeak free, oh yeah. And if you've still got questions, feel free to join my Discord server. We've got an awesome community of makers who are always happy to help out. Thanks for watching and happy printing.